one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is a really nice 2000 E350 but what it is it's a Chinook conversion Concours and these Chinooks it is the optimum package to have they are the optimum size I dig this I don't know if it's a class B or C or what it is someone knows and um, they're big enough to where you're super comfortable inside you got all the amenities and everything you need not only that, you can hop in it and drive to Walmart and just go get whatever you need. Oh yeah, not with like 40 feet of traveling goodness behind you to where you got to tow a car or something. That's just not fun. Um, I'm going to do the once around here and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do after that. Um, I know we're going to do the once around, show you the rig and then I'll go up close and I'll do the all the little details and stuff. I got gray coming man rain in california just not a actual thing that happens much but it's definitely here today god it's a good looking rig i, I love it it's, it's awesome drive. i want to i want to just take off i want to leave i want to ship this to the netherlands have it sit in somebody's yard and let them use it and let me use it when i get there somebody called to buy it before i even gave a phone number so www.oneownercarguy.com and you can reach me anytime. I'm going to go up close and go over any of the minor flaws here and my phone number is 406-544-6919 you can reach me anytime and other than that man here we go on the tiny little couple things that you need to repair the first would be that little lens a huge deal but it's there and I'm gonna be as upfront as I can in all this small chip right there a couple tiny chips nothing serious watermarks there um, I don't know if the tents legal in your county right here they should be repainted very simple quick easy to do has the banks power pack for anything on the shifting nice chrome simulated wheel cover simulated and it's clean under here I need how this camera adjusts the low level light. I'll tell you what the next seven just came out baby can't wait to get that clean as can be and that's all there is to it there's notes everywhere in this car a little bit of clear coat coming off around the edge right there you can hardly see it Thing right there and this little smudge mark on the bug guard like he was almost bent down a little bit okay bumper sticker has been taken off and there's a little bit of it left a couple chips behind it right there um what is this colored on the tape that goes over these it's like a tape piece they put on them probably to guard against rock chips or something I showed you that uh, tiny crack right there. And a little, you can see where a little of that tape got a gouge in it. This steps down. Got all the options. Antennae. Solar! Yes, sir. -y. Both mirrors the same way, by the way. Nice set of Dunlop radio rovers on it. Um, plenty of tread. Little titties all over the sides. Get into here and show you the training and stuff. It's just absolutely beautiful. And on these cars, I'm sure you might find a wet or damp little gasket or something somewhere, but it ain't a leak that I'm leaking all over. Battery tray there for your extra batteries, a compressor up under there. Straight rig. Little chippage right there. That might be. Oh, that's a little loose there. The rubber trim. Like I say, these are nice tires. They're really clean. I can't. I don't like the little. Next seven came out. Can't wait. Sony Next Seven. Big money. They've raised the price over the next five. They're twice as much money, but I can't do without anymore. A little bit of this, this something. 
clear coat on the sticker or something. Go in there. American flag sticker, a little faded. A little bit of put your hand in there, maybe rubbing it or something. I don't know. Where? Good spare awning, the whole deal. I mean, it's all here. You got your generator. See, he made these little things everywhere. And I'll go over some of that with you here in a minute. Now, I get into a thing where all of a sudden I go too long on this stuff because I really dig it. I like it. And I get into showing you all about it and I try and show all the damage. That's my main thing. Some people ask, why didn't you show this option or that option? Well, if the stuff's just a good working option or has something that's not wrong with it, I'm not going to really show it as much. I mean, <clears throat> and so I've been trying to show like propane tanks and stuff like that, but it's just dust. Stuff like this, where there's a little bit of a light stress mark there, is a lot more important to me to show. Kind of goes like this. It's not cracked bad or nothing, it's just a little stress mark. And that's the stuff that I like to show. I'm going to slice in the sticker there. Awning, mirrors, mirrored windows, you name it, it's awesome. Okay, 2000 Chinook, close to a $100,000 rig in 2000, 2001, and get this thing on a huge, huge discount, and go anywhere in it. Um, we, we actually picked this one up, up by Reno, um, and drove it from up there all the way down the California highway there to um, San Diego. Awesome trip. Ain't got to rent no room, just hop in the back on the couch when you get a little tired. So that made it nice. Okay, I think it's about eight minutes or so, and I'm going to take off down the road, seven minutes, and I'm going to take off down the road and show you on a test drive. Then we'll go up and we'll start going over all the options and such on it, and showing you everything I can on the rig. I've, to I've told this before, but I've had people tell me I make my cars sound cheap and I look like a moron when I say rig. Okay. Well, I say rig. Meant to be illegal. <laughs> so. I'm in trouble. Everything in here is. Oh, see, I'm going to talk to Matt. He actually drove it up. And, um. I think that's the one you switch to have all your coach batteries on and stuff. Vehicle booster, whatever that is. Raring to go. V10, baby. And this thing does the trick. And it runs like no other V10. He's put some extra options on it. I mean, I'm up to 30 like it's no thing. Like at like a quarter throttle. I'm not looking to speed in my thing here. It's 35 is what I'm going. It's a 40 mile speed limit. The upshift, the downshift, it's all good. It sounds like a diesel, man, with the bank stuff they put on it. It sounds so nice. Um, you can make a, a big box sound so nice. Okay. Oh. They didn't put their seatbelts on. Probably somebody that's riding in the back, right? Okay, we're gonna turn this thing around where we normally turn around our muscle cars and such. Oh, did I? Did I? I did! We made it! We made it! <laughs> you turn without even backing up there, baby. And that's just what's so cool about these. There's 30 miles an hour. I had to let off, man. Yeah. Yeah. Seatbelt works, I just, um, yeah. So, Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And I'm going to go finish this out up here. That's what we're going to do. Never know exactly how I'm going to do something like this. Matt knows a little bit more than me on it, though, on the options. And I have keys somewhere and could use just a little extra help on trying to get this all done in a timely manner. So, 
we'll get him this way to help us out a little. And that should help. Okay, I'm gonna open the hood up and I got that switch on. We're gonna get the lights on and stuff so I can show the inside. And then I don't have keys to open the side. I know you do at the back there. And that way we can show everything. It runs so short on time in these films. It seems like 20 minutes is a long time. And technically it is. It's, it seems like it when you're the one talking and trying to come up with stuff, stuff to say. But when it comes down to it, it's not all that much time. I'd like to get in here and show you anything I can. And I'll tell you what, this is one clean rig. It's well maintained, taken care of, and that's all there is to it. There's receipts in there and everything. See, he's got the air filter, the tranny pack, and the whole bank thing with the exhaust and everything. This 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 rig, rig. See, there you go again, and nobody likes it. I don't know. Nobody likes to stay in rig. I don't know if this is factory headers come on a V10. I'm not sure. I wasn't informed. Ford did not call me and tell me that factory headers came on these. That's pretty cool. Redone the gear and axles things, and he's got a note on that in there. Uh, so, I'd like to show the generator and stuff, if you could get the key. Are they at the back, in the little box where you left them? I think, are they? Okay, um... I'll go this way here. The generator and whatever else you think here. Home sweet home, yes sirree. Now I did not shampoo the carpets. We don't shampoo them uh, because we don't have a place we can leave the doors open overnight. Uh, got your TV going on. I'm walking uphill here. We got a steep driveway. Okay, this part's going to take a second. As you can see, records, records, records. Here's your CV. And oh, the heated and cooled cup warmers, and all that works. And I don't know what the beverage made thing. Yeah, not supposed to put your hand in there when in the chambers. Switches and stuff for the Hornet deer detector to keep them out of your way. Um, power windows and everything. Um, that's the extra things for your. Um, Big extra wide long mirrors. Um, got the clock and stuff going on. Okay, here we go. All of your little cabinets are neat, and there's some extra covers in there, speakers, and everything around. These little note cards, you'll be seeing them. He filled them out for everything. I like his system. Uh, stuff is clean. It's well maintained. And it's all here. They're calling to get it already. You better call fast. That's all there is to it. Matt, you out there? Um, so, back to this. Oh, it's track lighting, the little limo lighting. I thought there was some light in there, but I didn't look up that high. Okay, here we go. I gotta get into this and not run out of time. I ain't got much of it left, about six minutes to be exact. Here's the first part. I've got the window sticker for the Chinook RV Concourse Dinette GRE conversion. Um, three ways, special feature. Solar panel with charger, 16,000 BTU furnace, thermal pane windows, Emergency start switch, mud flaps, vacuum, outside shower, overhead console, remote heated side mirrors, driving lights, trailer hitch, Corian countertops, uh, fresh water filter, water flush kit, luxury package, digital rear view mirror, oh, with compass, outside temp, hot, dr cold drink, theater sound, chrome tip exhaust. 4.0 generator, 13.5 BTU roof air with heat. There's two heaters on this. Special feature, more ride suspension. Awning with crank. 13.30 for the suspension. 4,000 for the generator. 
I mean, there's just, it, it just goes on and on with the prices here. Um, the XL Saver package was $8,300. Um, adds up to over ninety grand. There's his purchase thing at under ninety grand. So it's a, you can pay what, eighty five. dollars um, Got a starter motor for the generator. Um, had the rear end redone? What is that? Differential. Yeah, rear differential. Drive line. Cross press. Drive shaft balance. This is the only real problem I have had with this RV. Mostly lots of labor. Be very aware of the axle condition. So, should be good for another 30,000 miles or 50. He did it on 6 7 2011. So, that's that. Now, this was in a package and I took it out. It's receipts and upkeep and little things like um, redoing Freon and little uh, your instructions. The instructions for every one of your things is in here. Oh, yeah, paid. Receive wheels. It's hard to read all this as you go. Your vents, even. I mean, and it's hard to have time to go over all of it. Oh, wow, there's your actual one. That's cool. So all that will be here for you. Um, DIAA. Oh, that's your driving lights. Ha, huh? gotcha. I seen that little switch up there. Didn't know what it was. Filtering faucet with your adapters and stuff. Um, for your range. Refrigerator. Is this your refrigerator? It's all your face. Needs dyno board. Um, we went to the trailer place. It's a $150 part. Everything works. It's all good. Needs that. $150 part. Um, this here, same thing. This part is for the bank's transmission command. The bank's transmission command. Never needed. Works good. It's got all the stuff for that on it. I mean, the guy added on lots of stuff after the fact of buying a $90,000 rig. This here was... 300 bucks? Yeah, 300 bucks for whatever he did here. Oh, RV wash and wax. No, that one was just a... Oh, shocks! Shocks, there we go. So, lots of updated stuff. Here's your actual Chinook owner's manual. It tells you all about it and everything and how to operate everything. I'm running out of time. I've got to hurry, got to hurry, got to hurry. Receipts, receipts, receipts. Um... More and more and more of this little this uh, spare oil plug. Kind of cool. Um, all this stuff here. Um, extra receipts. And I'm kind of getting going quick. The Odin generator and everything. There's that. There's this. For your Kenwood radio removal. Notes. AC works, but the fan's on low. It needs a blower motor. Radio cuts out and comes back on in the front. Um, there's a short on one of the wires for the speaker. Uh, TV needs digital adapter. Well, that's um, whatever. Um, da -da 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 -da. Low water pressure. And you may need a new pump. Um, the guy at the RV place said pump's fine. It's a filter. Um, hot water heater and outside shower bypass valves closed. Check manual. Outside shower leaks. Doesn't leak unless you're using it and stuff. And this believe this generator needs a new starter. Never got around to installing it. This is a new starter. Good luck. And the receipt's in there. Um, everything is done. Um, I have hot water heater and outside shower bypass valve closed. Okay. I did that one. Generator needs a new starter. Just showed you that. AC unit on top of RV is new. 2003 with little. 10 to 20 hours use should only. Should be good. Okay. Nathan. 406-544- you can reach me anytime. This is a 2000 Chinook conversion. Um, great rig. Take it anywhere. Um, I think I've shown... Oh, he opened this for me. Where I can show you under here. Dual extra battery. Oh, wow, there's all kinds of batteries in this thing. And just some extra stuff you might need at some point. Um, get this. Oh, he's got the key to close it. Um, Okay, so that's that. We'll close that. And Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. 
um, www.oneownercarguy.com and wow I think that's it I didn't show you the fridge is nice it ain't got no funky smells or nothing I gotta do this you ain't gonna be buying this thing without seeing this a man just can't do it there's just no way I gotta show you this I can't there's no way around it super super clean that's all there is to it super clean in the bathroom I have to show that there's no way you want to buy something like this. I mean, there's little things everywhere for notes. No way you want to buy something like, well, this 600 is coming up. Buy something like this without seeing the bathroom. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. OneOwnerCarGuy.com.